yo, Doug. I ran and got to a track, I got it Brand new dumb and VVS, I bought it All these lame niggas be smoking chronic That's why your last nigga work the Sonic I got the drip with the Sonic I know she be capping, she know she want me Now I got the sticks, we came like an army General Grievous, boy, you can't disarm me I know that you see me Hello buddy, my name is Pixie and I'm back with another video. So in this video I'll begin with these Halid transition presets inspired by Alex Siv and Vegas Pro. Now before the video starts, make sure to subscribe because I'm trying to beat shill in subscribers. So a subscription would be awesome. But yeah, without further ado, let's begin. Alright, so what you wanna do is go down the description in the glue drive and download these presets and open them with preset manager. Now the plugin you'll need is Sapphire, so make sure you got that. Alright, so going over to Vegas Pro, uh, these are the things you need to know. So make sure your project settings are at 60 FPS or else the transitions will look weird. The another thing is make sure to go to options and make sure quant size to frames is checked. And once everything is fine, you can begin. So what we have over here is two clips. One is with a velocity and as you can see, just transitions like that. So the way to add the transition, um, the basic way is basically look at the transition number. So as you can see, A, um, it says like zoom in A and then 10. That means how many frames back before the end of the clip. So this one says 10, let's go 10. So I would go like 10 frames backwards or I would double click over here, backspace minus 10 cut it and basically apply the transition so let's apply a zoom in a and here we have zoom in a like that then you want to apply zoom in b to the next part of the video so this is the other video and as you can see we have a transition and the same thing goes for spin transitions then next up we have spin transitions so here we have spin left a 20 which means you know 20 frames before the end so what you want to do is you know, go on the clip, go at the end and go 20 frames backwards. So I'm gonna do just that then cut it and then apply, you know, spin left A and then to the next part, apply spin left B. So just like that. Now, if you have noticed, uh, there's like an issue. So basically when you cut over here and apply a preset, your impact might like disappear like that. So if this bothers you, there is a quick fix. So here I have, you know, the same clip. So if you want to fix that cut and you want it to be smooth, you know, you want the impact and the transition to be on the same clip with no interactions, uh, what you want to do is render that part out. So let me make another video track. And now let's say I want to um, apply spin left A20. So I would highlight 20 frames. Um, this is the easy way to do this. So as you can see, it says 20 frames, uh, 0.20, which means it's 20 frames. Then I would render it out and make sure to have your width and height same as your project width and height or else it will bug. But once you have everything ready, just name it whatever you want and click render. So once it is rendered, drag it into Vegas Pro. Um, it's most likely we have an audio track, so just delete that. And here you have your rendered impact. So what you, you know, what you can do now is apply a spin transition or whatever one you got. And as you can see, it won't like do this little bug and the impact will still be there and the transition will happen like that. So that's how you fix the little bug. Just like that and as you can see everything is clean and everything works perfectly fine. So yeah, that's about it. If you like these transitions, make sure to drop a like and leave a suggestion in the comments below on what I should do next. But anyways, this is Pixie. Thanks so much for watching. I'm out.